Police investigators last month arrested and charged several men in relation to separate murders that occurred across northeastern parishes. A Jamaica Constabulary Force JCF, crime sheet, which was sent to Jamaica Observer North and East, showed that eight men were charged with murders committed in St. Anne and St. Mary. Observer North and East had reported on the March 2017 the double murder of taxi driver Robert Brown and cashier Diana Booth on Fort George Road in Inato Bay, St. Mary. The police have charged 21-year-old Hakeem Wilson, otherwise called Kimo, of Top Bay in Inato Bay. He is said to be unemployed. Police report that Brown was driving his motor car along Fort George Road on February 25, 2017, when he picked up the accused and booed as passengers. Booth was reportedly seated in the front, while Wilson was seated in the back. The police said that Wilson opened gunfire on the two, who both died at the scene. The police believe robbery was the motive. On Saturday, December 9, 2017, Observer North and East reported that Vincent Walsh and Cleve Grant were attacked and shot to death the day before while on duty at a DNG outlet at Fort George Road. It is alleged that 32 year old Charles Hamilton, who is otherwise called Tuggy Tuggy, accompanied by another man, visited the dead men's workplace in an attempt to rob it. Walsh was stabbed in his throat, while Grant was shot in the head. Hamilton, whom the police listed as a mason and farmer of Love Lane in Inato Bay, St. Mary, was charged with double murder and illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. Hamilton was also charged with murder in a separate incident that occurred in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. In a separate incident, the police have charged Dwayne Barton, 25, and Davy and Edwards, 26, both of Stewart Town, for the murder of British attorney Delroy Walker. The 63-year-old's body was found with multiple stab wounds on April 19 inside the Rio Nuevo house he had purchased with his wife in Tower Isle, St. Mary. According to police report, the incident occurred between 6.45 a.m. and 10 a.m. The police said that Walker was killed a few days after an altercation with Barton and Edwards over work that had been done to his house. He was reportedly dissatisfied with the work and refused to pay the agreed amount, which fueled the dispute. Residents later noticed a trail of blood leading from the house and summoned the police. In February, Jason Brown was chased, shot and chopped multiple times allegedly by 46-year-old Devin Stanbury, the police have said. Brown was at home with his family on the 15th around 7.20 p.m. when the accused and another man, both of whom were carrying guns kicked open the door. It is said that the two fired at him, but he managed to escape and got to the main road. However, Brown did not get far as the two men chased him and eventually caught up with him. He was chopped multiple times and later pronounced dead at St. Anne's Bay Hospital. Meanwhile, self employed 42 year old Ryan Walker of Top Road and Minard Heights in St. Anne has been charged with the murder of Dwight Ferguson. According to a police report, Walker and another man went to Ferguson's house in January and allegedly opened gunfire, hitting him all over his body. He died immediately, the report said. The police did not list a motive for the killing. Eldon York was stabbed to death following an argument with 38 year old Garfield Jackson on May 13 in what town, St. Anne. York was stabbed in his torso multiple times, the police said. Jackson has since been charged with murder. Also in St. M, Ziggy Stevenson, 24, has been charged with the murder Adrian Brissett. 
Police report that on May 2 about 7.50 p.m. the two men got into an altercation which involved several other men. Brissett was stabbed with a cutting tool by one of the men. He was rushed to hospital where he received treatment, but later succumbed to his injury.